chole next to ay baba mamu ya chole next to ay u ya chole next to o baba mamu ya chole ya chole hi everyone the purpose of this video is to show you how i measure my hair it's going on three and a half over three and a half years since i last relaxed my hair and I thought it would be a great time to update you guys on the length. This is something that I do and I decided to film it just to update you guys on my length and to show you how I measure my hair. I use a regular ruler and this has worked for me but now my hair is longer than the ruler but I still managed to make it work. I also use my favorite flat iron. Please don't laugh when you see this. Yes, it's beat up. I really should throw it away. It has a temperature gauge. I currently have it set to 180 degrees Celsius. It goes all the way up to 200 degrees Celsius. And yeah, I really like it. It has ceramic plates, one of them is chipped at the corner, which is why I don't use it on a regular basis. I had already started straightening out sections, so these are sections that I had uh, straightened before I came on camera. And they have already started to revert. So I'll just go through the flat iron one more time. The way I've straightened my hair is I hold it taut and then I run the flat iron across. I take my ruler and place it perpendicular to my scalp. It's behind the section of hair. I guess it would help if I held it facing the right way. And then I pull my hair across the front of the ruler and I pinch off where it passes the end of the ruler. Then I bring my ruler back like that. And I hold it to the beginning of the ruler. You'll notice that there's a bit of space over there. Sometimes I ignore it, sometimes I I place the hair right there, but it makes it doesn't make much of a difference really in the long run. Not that far. So it's just less. Three quarters of an inch. So one one and three quarters. When I see that, I usually say that my hair is between 13 and a half to 14 inches. There. And I like to measure another section on the other side of my head. Just to compare. Let me take this one here. Right. So it was just about two inches. So between 13 and a half to 14 inches, I will take that. On my body, it really depends on how I hold my head. It's just at breast level. On my shoulder. It's 
just past my armpit. At the back, I know it's past my bra strap because it was already touching my bra before. And the hair is a little bit longer. Sorry, I was trying to remove my phone and I shut off the recording. I was saying at the back, I know it's past my, my bra, my bra strap because it was already there a couple of months ago. So, that's my bra there. Just below. This hair is coming from all the way up here, so I know there's hair that passes the bra straps. Overall, I'm, I'm quite pleased with the length so far. Uh, my goal is to maintain as much of the thickness that's coming through right now as possible so that as the hair grows out, it will grow out thickly, which is why. You may have noticed that I'm, I'm doing a lot of fuss-free hair styling. I call it fuss-free, meaning I'm doing as little as possible with my hair while trying to keep it uh, free from tangles and not going into my hair on a regular basis. Just to allow it to grow and do what it needs to do to grow out thick. Because what's the point of having long hair if it's thin? Um, at the same time, I know I'm probably going to have to say goodbye to these ends at some point. But it won't be today. Otherwise, if you have any questions, comments, queries, please feel free to put them below in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching.